inter-religious harmony has been a heritage of India. Indian history is replete with examples of religious harmony because the core of India is pluralistic. प्रेम की गंगा बहाते चलो प्रेम की गंगा बहाते चलो वर्ल्ड इंटरफेथ हार्मनी वीक इज एन्युअली ऑब्जर्वड इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ फेब्रुवरी इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशंस जनरल असेंबली एज अ वे टू प्रमोट हार्मनी बिटवीन ऑल पीपल रिगार्डलेस ऑफ देयर फेथ Dialogue among different religions and faith will enhance mutual understanding, harmony and cooperation among people. Interfaith dialogue is more than a dialogue of trained theologians. It is first of all striving to live side by side in an open and neighborly spirit with people of other faiths. This is dialogue of life. We come to know each other through daily interactions and friendships. We have a few youngsters talking about their experiences with friends of other faiths. Hi, my name is Tinsi and I'm from Kerala. I would like to tell you about my dear friend Hari Priya who is a Hindu. She treats everyone equally. respects all religion and stands for justice that's the best thing i like about her hi i'm kartik sahu from haryana and i have a muslim friend named yashmin begum from bihar the good things i have learned from her are doing charity every month and to seek forgiveness i cherish being her friend hi this is ufak jaine from greater noida and i feel glad to talk about my friend sharon who is a christian She's the most humble and caring person I have ever met in my life. She's truthful, honest, and a person one can depend on. She's loved by everyone. May God bless her. The Society of Pillar cherishes the noble understanding of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. The whole world is one family and has been engaging in the promotion of dialogue and harmony through its institutions in Goa and beyond. Last December an interfaith celebration of Christmas was held in Pilar. Here are a few bites from the speakers. Since we all are like minded I think it's uh, God's mercy that he's brought us together on this occasion. So uh, I think uh, during these times where we see that you know each one of us is facing some or the other difficulty. Right so uh, it's our responsibility to not only uh, you know support one another be good towards one another but uh, educate our communities educate our people our families and friends to be together to be united together with each other goya purte tari am sarke jana amcha bitar differences zori asle tari amcha bitar amigad asa ami ekdam dusre asa ka okristo ho musalman ho hindu ho to is dur na आमच ती रीत ना हतुन ही हमें घटना अ पर्सनल मैटर्स जे आसता तथु दुसरे आसता हम आसा घर भाई एक पड़ो कि सगले सारे दिता इतने अचीवमेंट हमें हा देशा वर्सान के आई थिंक यू नो नेचर स्टैंड एज ऑलवेज बिफोर आज यू नो लाइक अ कम्युनिटी यू नो इफ यू लुक एट इट देर आर डिफरंट स्पीशीज दैट्स वाय वी कॉल इट बायोडायवर्स रेट so the different trees different animals were also part of it and what do you see you see that there are conflicts there is predation there is everything but they are all interconnected together right they are all uh, seamlessly interconnected together we don't have to go very far to understand uh, what is going on with our world today with our earth today how the planet itself is struggling to survive and therefore our survival is linked with the survival of the planet our scriptures all of the scriptures together if you see or individually they have these environmental lessons inbuilt in them 
they're part of our collective memory. We just have to read our scriptures again. We just have to recall these collective memory that has been handed down to us. Pope Francis, in his recent encyclical, Fratelli Tutti says, The religions are called to the service of fraternity in the world. In dialogue and with hearts open to the world, we can establish social friendship and fraternity. On the 4th of February 2019, Pope Francis signed a document on human fraternity for world peace and living together, along with Ahmad al Taib, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar. This is a milestone of inter religious dialogue. One of its parts reads We call upon intellectuals, philosophers, religious figures, artists, media professionals, and men and women of culture in every part of the world to rediscover the values of peace, justice, goodness, beauty, human fraternity and coexistence in order to confirm the importance of these values as anchors of salvation for all and to promote them everywhere. For Christians, the wellspring of human dignity and fraternity is in the gospel of Jesus Christ and that is what inspires our actions and commitments. On the occasion of World Interfaith Harmony Week, we call upon followers of different religions to recognize that the common values that we hold far outweigh the differences that we have. Acceptance, appreciation of diversities and celebrating the goodness in other religions will surely further and strengthen the ideal of harmonious living in our communities, neighborhoods, educational institutions and places of worship.